Hello, everybody. This is Stephen Birch with the beautiful backpacking guitar. And um, if you want to know more about the backpacking guitar and the unique tuning of the guitar and uh, and all that, you can go to my website, birchmusic.com. Look right down there and see birchmusic.com. Click on the backpacking guitar button, and uh, it'll tell you more about the backpacking guitar and how to tune the guitar and, uh, and so forth. So uh, now let's get started. Today we're going to learn the song. Uh, we're going to go back to the 1950s for this song, and it's kind of a it became kind of a jazz standard called "Fly Me to the Moon," uh, written in the mid 50s, and then made really famous by um, Old Blue Eyes, uh, Frank Sinatra, in the 1960s. And interestingly enough, this song uh, was the first song that was played on the moon itself when the when the Apollo astronauts landed on the moon and they pulled out a cassette tape recorder and they played Fly Me to the Moon. So um, anyway, kind of a, a, fun, a fun song. Now, the nice thing about, well, uh, this song is it has some, it's a, a little more interesting chords, has a couple of minor chords. And, and by the way, when you go online and you look for the lyrics and the chords that go with this song, you're going to find, you know, you're going to find some different opinions about what uh, chords to go with. I'm going to show you um, the ones that work really best with the backpacking guitar here. Uh, and so now let's get started. The song Fly Me to the Moon. Here we go. It starts on the chord A minor and A minor is all the way up on the ninth fret with your first finger and then because it's a minor chord you take your pinky and you go two, uh, three frets up. So for the A minor chord Fly Me to the Moon and then the word moon is D minor uh, still a minor chord, so remember your pinky here, uh, and that's on the second fret. Moon, and let me play, and play is the G chord, just a G major chord, so that'll be on the seventh fret. Play among the stars, and to the C chord, open. Okay, so the second phrase is now, um, we're going to go to the F chord. The F chord is the fifth fret. Uh, let me see what, and then we're going to go to the D minor chord, spring. Spring is like on, and then to the E chord, and that'll be your fourth fret. Jupiter and Jupiter, E major, Jupiter and Mars. And for the Mars, we're going to go back to the A minor chord. That's back up on the uh, ninth fret. Mars. Okay? Uh, so fly me to the moon and let me play among the stars. Let me see what spring is like on Jupiter and Mars. Okay, and then, in other words, in other words, we're going to go to the D minor chord. That's the second fret with the minor. In other words, to the G chord, seventh fret. Hold my hand, and then the hand is C hand. And then I'm going to show you uh, something new. Okay, something we haven't had before. I'm going to show you the C uh, sharp diminished chord. All right, that's kind of getting into the weeds. But the reason I'm going to show it to you is because it's really, really easy. Okay, so don't get worried. This is an easy one. And if, if you can't do it, you can just ignore it and go on to the next chord. So we're, we're on the C chord here. That's open. And then for the C sharp diminished, we're going to put, I'm going to use my, my, my middle finger here, second finger. Uh, or you can use your first finger, it doesn't matter. But on the fourth string, on the first fret, so the bottom string, first fret, and then also on the first fret, it's kind of hard to see here, the first fret on the third string. Uh, I'm sorry, on the second string. So second string, first fret, fourth string, first fret, and it sounds like this. Okay? So, from C, and then this, and that kind of leads into the next chord, the D minor chord, okay? So, uh, let's see here, from, um, so let, go to let me see, let me see what spring is like on Jupiter and Mars, in other words, hold my hand, here comes that diminished chord, and then the D minor chord again, in other words. And then the G chord, seventh fret. Darling, kiss me. So kiss me is C. And then we go to the E chord to lead us into the second verse. Now, this song doesn't have a chorus like a lot of 
pop songs do, um, uh, it just goes straight into the next verse. And it's only two verses long, so it's a short song. It's kind of nice, and it has been played by lots of artists with a lot of different styles, a bossa nova style and a kind of a jazz style, swing style. Uh, you can look it up and see all the uh, great um, things for this song. So, in other words, let's see, let's go back to the D minor chord. In other words, darling, kiss me. And then the E chord. And that's going to lead us now into the second verse, starting on the A minor chord again, ninth fret uh, minor. I fill my heart with song. And song is a D minor chord. Second fret minor song, and let me sing, and G for sing, sing forevermore, C for, for more of evermore, and then to the F chord, you are all I long, and on the word long, we're going to go down to the D minor chord, long for all I, and then worship is the E chord, worship and adore, and back to the A minor chord, for the door of adore. Okay, and then in other words, it's D minor, D minor, second fret, in other words, and G, seventh fret, please be true. Uh, and then if you want to do that transition to the uh, diminished chord, you can do that. Please be true. In other words, so another word, the second, in other words, is D minor again, in other words. And then the G chord, I love you, or I love you, you can go up to that last note, you. And then you can play that um, transition chord again, the E chord. And then that's that's really the whole song. Now, um, the second verse has a another way of ending that second verse and so when you go into the, in other words, in other words, the D minor chord, and then the G chord, please be, it goes to the G chord, and then um, sometimes you'll hear uh, artists will go up to this E chord, please, so in other words, please be true, if you want to go that high, true, and that's an E chord there instead of the C chord, the E chord, true. And then the A minor chord, in other words, I love you. So that's that's it. It's a nice song, and it's got, uh, it's, like I said before, it's, it's got a lot of history to it. And it is an, uh, an older song. It doesn't really fit in the sort of the 60s, 70s, 80s pop song realm, but it is a great song. So I hope you have a good time playing this song and all the other great songs on the backpacking guitar. I'll see you out there in the woods sometime.